Now then, boys, welcome back to another episode of this FIFA 22 Barcelona career mode. And we're going to kick this one off by looking at Sergio Aguero because some of you out there want rid of this man. Five goals in six matches, top goal scorer at the club. He's going absolutely nowhere. He's having a whale of a time at the moment at Barcelona. To be honest with you, we'd really be struggling to score without him. So I need him right now. We're also going to change the format now to these episodes. We're going to try and chuck a fourth game in. I want to try and play more games in this one then simming which was the initial plan so i'm going to chuck in a fourth game for each episode might make them a bit longer depends what happens in the matches sometimes they'll be a bit short sometimes they'll be a bit longer that will be the format moving forward but let's just get into the games we've got benfica to kick this one off and hopefully we can get our first three points here in the champions league which is all important of course this is quite a tough group benfica are no slouch Bayern Munich, we know that already. They're going to be the hardest team in the group. We can take points from Benfica. will definitely do us a big favour in at least making sure we get second in this group. A little bit of rotation here. Of course, you've got to remember that we do have Atletico Madrid coming up next. And that's a huge game in the league. We're very early stages here of this one. We are going to change the kits as well because... I reckon once we get on the pitch, this will be a clash. Shit clashes this year are a nightmare, so we will put Benfica in their white. But Kamara de Jong is still in the team. Ricky, of course, playing at left midfield. Ansu Fati Aguero and Diego Lyonez for his first start. For me, Lenle comes in. People want to see him used a little bit, so we will use him. And Balde playing as our left back today because we really need Alaba fit for the game against Atletico Madrid. This is a decent Benfica team. So we know it's not going to be easy and they've got some great young talent on the bench as well. They have Grimaldo who I want in this Barca team. And I'm hoping we can get similar out of Aguero again. He's been super good. I need more out of Ansu Fati as well, but he's extremely young. So there's plenty of time. Diego Lion has been given an opportunity today. You've got to remember how well Dembele is playing. Always does well there to win that back. Dembele is playing so well for me at the moment. Like... It's hard to leave him out, but he was knackered for this one, so that made it a little bit easier. That wasn't the through ball I was going for. Ricky might win that back. He doesn't. But now this is where we could be in trouble. And nobody has marked Yaramchuk. And he goes clean through. Like, nobody marked Yaramchuk. We're 1-0 down. What are they doing there? Awful defending. They both just stood and watched as Yaramchuk was wide open. Great finish. Instantly now, we need a comeback. We need a fight back. We've been a little bit sloppy in possession so far. I've got to remember that I'm playing as Barcelona now, not as Leicester. I think we'll be fine. We're at home as well, so you can't you can't muck up, can you, when you're when you're at home? Not against Benfica. So I shouldn't be too mean to Benfica. They actually caused Barcelona a lot of issues in real life, didn't they? So this could be the same. We just need to be clever about the decisions we're making and defensively need to be better than whatever that opening mistake was. We've rotated a lot as well, so that never bowls well for Yorkie when I rotate players. It never bowls well. And if we were to go a second goal down here, this could get very bad for us. Yaramchuk now. Heading for Shia. That's good play. Jao Mario. Back to Yaramchuk. Oh, we nearly do go two down. Now this could be good. Linez just tips that one over. Ricky's going to get on it. Ricky, what a save. Just don't want Ricky to score, do they? They just do not want our Ricky the bad goals because he's had a few opportunities. They've all kind of ended up like that. Right there, there. Plays that one in behind. It's lovely. Everton now. Very talented player. Another player we wouldn't mind. Ricky's picked up a knock. When did that happen? I didn't see that. Grimaldo there. Oh, it's Lionez. It's not Ricky. Everton now is going to win that one across. Oh, we're making hard goals of this at the moment. Ansu Fati now. Link up there with a Sergio Aguero. Who dinks that one over to Fati. Just wasn't quite the pass. Got the option there of Fati. Fati's touch is brilliant. His touch was brilliant. Ricky's in there. Knock it on. De Jong, surely, open goal, and there we go. Maybe Ricky could have taken that on, but let's be honest, every time he's been in front of goal, he hasn't scored it. So I thought, do you know what? We'll knock it on to De Jong, and the man with the great hair bags the goal. Diego Lainez, his day is going to be cut short, though, unfortunately. Alex Calado, and that guy doesn't look a thing like Alex Calado, by the way. Uh, he's going to come on for the second half, because there goes the halftime whistle. 1-1 so far isn't a bad scoreline, to be fair. I think we can nick a second this second half. And then we get the win. We get the three points we need while rotating the team as well. Just the casualty of Lainez is a bit of a shame because I think he'd have got a lot of game time this season. And injuries, of course, are going to impact his improvement. The team's good enough now, I think. Still, Collado's actually going to be free here. He's going to be free wondering where any help is. Pull that one back. And then I will whip it in towards Cunaguero. And it wasn't a bad idea. Oh, good play here now. Nivraseca. 
up I play, Jao Mario. He's linked up really well today in that midfield. Caused me a lot of issues. Mario now needs to get touch tied to him. Alex Balde up against Gonzalez, who's overrun it. Now is there something on for us? Aguero couldn't get it out of his feet. Look at that touch from Aguero as well. Not what you expect. He's got a really good first touch, but that one right there just wasn't the one, was it? Well in De Jong. Aguero now. Wasn't the greatest of touches. Bilardo. Bring this one forward. And if he can get the right ball in, he has Fati. Oh, Ansu Fati's back on the score sheet. And the substitute, Alex Calado, with a very decent ball into him. And we will take the lead. Fair play, that. Great ball in from Calado, actually. Really impressed. And Fatty in that position has missed it before this time. Just nudges it past the keeper. Trying to force the goalkeeper into mistakes here. And Sue Fatty's going to collect that. And Kamara now from distance will try and drive a shot. Why not? When in Rome. Wait, when in Rome? But yeah, why not try and take that big shot on? Oh, that's a great ball into Yuramchuk now. He's got a lot of space. And Yuramchuk will make it too. This is a wonderful pass. Cannot believe this. Benfica back. Look at that for a ball. And Lenley is completely out of position. Araujo tries to come across, but they always score them. But we are making a double sub. De Jong off. Nico Gonzalez on. And Ferreira is going to come on for Aguero. Can they have an impact? I don't know, but I've got my eye on Benfica coming up, if I'm honest with you boys. And I, Benfica coming up. Atletico Madrid coming up. We can't afford to have tired legs. Calado now, who has been a fawn in their side, and he's done it again. That is great footwork. Calado, though, this time, can he get the ball in? He can't. The Tongan close to him. Is there time left for another dramatic winner here? For Barcelona. We haven't done it often enough. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. And straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. And that should be the game. And another point for us in the Champions League. And I would say that that's a better point for Benfica than it is for Barcelona. Dramchuk, ultimately the problem today. And they didn't have much of the game. They weren't really involved in it too much. But the opportunities they had, they took. Almo beat Juve. Okay. I don't feel so bad now about a draw against Benfica. Uh, Benfica sorry. Because Malmo beat Juve. We've got quite a few players now in the academy that we need to go through. And quite a few that will not be making it into the team at any stage. Some that we might need to look at and change positionally. And then we also need to put them all on plans. So I'm going to do that now. That's all. We've got a few more things to check on as well. It's going to be five days for Lioness. So that's actually really handy to know that. Only five days. And we've got another scout report. Let's see if we can get any good... Young players from Spain. We haven't had too many decent uh, regens come through so far. Not like superstar regens. A few that might be decent if we give them the correct amount of playing time. But no one really who's been absolute standout where I'm like, this guy is going to be the next Messi of this series. He's going to be the next Iniesta. He's going to be the next Javi. We haven't found anyone like that yet. Pretty much full strength for this Atletico Madrid game. They're playing an interesting formation. Might be... A lot of space for Dembele and Fati. Both have decent pace, good dribbling. So there might actually be a lot of space in behind today against Atletico Madrid. But we know it's a strong lineup. Hopefully Griezmann and Suarez together don't come back to haunt us. This should be a good test to kind of see where we're at as well here with this Barcelona squad. Try and see where we're at in the league. We've got the El Clasico coming up as well very soon. So these kind of matches, these kind of games will show where our squad is at compared to the better squads in this league. Hoping the answer is we're very close now because they want us to win the league this year to the board, which is absolutely fine. No issue there. Should be easy, right, to win the league here. Season one with this Barcelona squad. Not a lofty set of ambition there from the board, but it is what it is. We've got Pedri back in today, which I'm absolutely over the moon about. And what a touch dice from Aguero. Can he find the back of the net? He can't. And... Gonzalez's ball will go out a foot just for a second. That might dribble in. Good touch there, though, from Aguero. We saw an extremely bad one for him in the last game. That one was perfect. Took him right past his man. Go on, then, Aguero. He's in again here, maybe. Can he find the back of the net? He can't. Oh, Black's going to be hard to beat. That nearly landed to De Jong. But we already, we look feisty, don't we? We look fired up for this one. Not ridiculous pace, either, between Griezmann and Suarez, I don't think. So, should be able to keep up with them, I'm hoping. Because they're not exactly the quickest. Now, Lorente here, I would not mind. He would be a good player for us. I think raiding some of the other Spanish teams makes sense. Fatty still wants Aguero. That's not bad footwork from Ansu Fati. He'll nudge it on. And that has to be a great ball in. It was towards the edge of the box, wasn't it? It wasn't the greatest of passes in, but already causing the problems down the wings, which is what we were expecting. Sergio Dest has got to do better there, though. Now we find ourselves... 
being attacked against. Just need to slow them down a little bit here. First corner of the game for Atletico Madrid. I was going to say, what can they do with it? They didn't do a right lot, but Usman Dembele needs to do better in terms of his control there. Let me break away now a little bit. Sergio Dest. He's got no one to go to, though, has he? This is nice play. Oh, Gerard Piquet needs to do better. The Paul. Lorente! Water save from Testegen. Pausing me. A lot of problems. Is this Atletico Madrid team? And on Titi trying to do that there wasn't very good. Lorente now. Lorente is causing me the issues, isn't he? Yannick Carrasco. Oh, four blocks it. Well, I hadn't. What a ball across to Correa. Feels like only a matter of time before they were going to score and Atletico Madrid make it 1-0. Here comes Atletico Madrid. Not much possession, but I don't think they need much possession, do they? It's Simeone. Doesn't need a lot of possession. At the moment, what they're doing is working. Get that to Stegen. That was close. What they're doing right now is working. What we're doing is definitely not Sansu Fati making that run. Gets it into him. Ansu Fati now. Ansu Fati still thinks it over to Pedri. Pedri then to Usman Dembele. And that is a perfect goal. Fantastic play. And we're right back in it. 1-1. Huge away goal here. I'd tap him for Dembele, right? I don't care if it were a bit sweaty. Do not care one bit whatsoever. If we went all sweaty Betty then. We needed it. We needed it. I thought maybe I could have finished it with Pedri. But I thought that was the cleverer pass. Give it to Usman Dembele for the tap in. Half time whistle will blow and honours even at the moment. And we need to keep it that way. We don't. We need to get a win. But the biggest thing is not lose this. That would put us much further behind. We just can't afford to lose this game. One thing to note as well is if you hear fireworks in the background, it's like bonfire night, innit? It's like bonfire weekend, really. Let's be honest. They'll be going on all weekend. So just be prepared. I think my mic settings are good enough. For you not to hear any background noise, but you never know. Young now. Finds Aguero. Aguero will just pop that one out wide to Usman. And the thing is now is, is we need to make sure we're maintaining possession as well. Like we have been. Go on then. Aguero. On the volley maybe? Nah, he's offside, isn't he? He was offside. Well, I knew it had to be close. I mean, that's close. That is closer than close, that. Bit of a ridiculous decision. I'm going to be honest. I think he might have even been on there. Suarez has done brilliantly there to dink that over to Yannick Carrasco. And now we're in danger. Luis Suarez, though, with the mistake. Which is not what you expect. Pedri trying to just get this ball away. And we have done now. What are the options? Kamara plays that one to De Jong. De Jong threads that one through to Usman Dembele. Oh, he doesn't have the options, does he? And look at this now. Atletico Madrid just get bodies back so quickly. Kamara now, though. It's opened up for him a little bit. It's well blocked. De Jong now. Back to Aguero. Aguero then in behind to Usman. Dembele from distance. Oh, 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 what a save that is from All Black. We'll see Atletico bring off Carrasco and bring on uh, Thomas Lamar, who I'm a fan of. Great player. Or at least I was a fan of him when he was at Monaco. I remember that season, that season that they played Man City in the Champions League and knocked him out. But anyway, enough of that. We're making a double sub as well. Dembele's knackered, so he's going to come off for Yusuf Demir. And Memphis Depay will come on for Sergio Aguero. Can we go on now and get the winner? I think we're capable. That's not a bad ball in, but we can get on to it. It's if Demir now. Not seen too much football for us so far. Oh, that's got to be better from De Jong, hasn't it? That's got to be better. I think Memphis Depay is in there if it's a better ball. What are we doing? Are we just... What are we doing there? Alba plays him on. What is Alba doing? Jordi Alba plays him on. Looks back to see what's going on. He doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Wow, 2 1, and they deserve it. And that is shocking defending from Alaba. Absolutely shocking. Oh, Demir now spotted that run, though. Memphis Depay. That's well taken. Depay! Ho ho ho! Just like that is 2 2. Memphis Depay says, I can't hear you, Athletic Madrid fans. And it's 2 2 now to Barcelona. I'm still raging that I called him Alba for one. And then the fact that he actually played him on was ridiculous as we were trying to play him offside. That's a beautiful goal from Depay. I wouldn't say he's had a great start to his career here at Barcelona either. It's been a little bit of a stutter start for him. But what a ball in as well from Yusuf Demir. And so, he knows he's got options. He goes for the second option, which is Memphis Depay. Oh, needed to hit it first time, did he? Oblak just did not give him time to set himself and control it. And at the moment, it's looking like another 2-2 draw, but this one, not one that I'm too fussed about. To be honest, we're away to Atletico Madrid. I will take a point. I think we had moments where we could have won it. We need to tighten up this defence. It's shocking for us at the moment. Atletico Madrid actually want Lenley 
Now, I'm going to reject this for now, but it does look like one or if not both of them will be leaving the club in the summer. And laying on Titi, but I'll reject it for now. I want to give him a couple of opportunities to kind of see where I'm at with him. See how I am with using him and if I enjoy using him. We've got Valencia coming up now, 16th in the league. Let's pick a side to take them on. There'll be a little bit of rotation here because Dynamo Kiev coming up, but I think we can win it. But this is the starting 11 to take on Valencia. We need to win. Let's be honest, boys. We need to start winning some games. We need to shore up our defense. It's going to be Lenley and Garcia today. Kamara keeps the CDM position. He's playing very well at the moment. Ferreira gets his first start at the club. Very impressed with him so far when we've used him. Balde will be left back. Gavi comes in for this one in center midfield. So, of course, we're still using the youngsters. A bit of rotation. Uh, but we're playing a team that aren't doing very well in the league and in form and also have a few players we wouldn't mind. Guedes, Carlos Soler would be a very good player for this team. I'm pretty sure Diakabi is not a right back, but apart from that, the team seems pretty much as you'd expect. First win of the episode coming here. I'm English and I am used to the rain. So the Barcelona boys now are used to the rain. I make them play in, in all weather conditions all the time. And they're constantly playing in the rain. Sometimes we just chuck water at them so that they know that they need to be good in the rain. This is where we win our games, boys, in the rain. 3 or 4 nil this, potentially. Honestly, these boys have been playing in, in wet conditions for most of the training sessions this season. The pitch looks very nice as well today, actually. The pitch is looking really well fertilised. I, I don't even know at this stage, boys. I don't even know. Usman Dembele now. That footwork from him. I'm enjoying using Usman, I'm not going to lie. He's really enjoyable on the ball. He'll get that back across now. Gavi. Gavi tries to tuck that inside to Pedri. Back to Usman, who tries to lift it in. and Trying to be a little bit too neat at times with the football. But, I mean, it's, it's how Barcelona play, don't they? They play very neat football. Ferreira now in a lot of space. Oh... Daly, his second goal at the club, the young American. Really showing signs that he could be a star Barcelona player in the future. And with the club for the long term as one of our strikers. Hopefully, we, we hope that anyway, don't we? But here come Valencia. Vass will play that in. And that's great defending from Lenley. That's what I want to see from him. Still trying to make the decision on do we sell him or not. And him defending like that will certainly put him in good stead for me. Sometimes you just got to... Move the ball nicely. These boys are, are very used to that now because that is the style of football we play. Osman Dembele now is going to just dink that one in. Ferreira is not seven foot though, so he won't win them. Gavi's done really well to win that header though. Tamara now. Having a really good start to his career actually. Really looking forward to seeing what he can achieve. Probably should have gone out wide there to Osman Dembele. Oh, Gomez has played a peach through. And it's going to be Guedes. Guedes all the way through. And this is our biggest issue. And what a save from Testegen. My biggest problem at the moment is, is our inability to deal with that. And I don't know if it's just a case of getting some more pace in the defensive end. Uh, and that'll fix that issue for me. We forced a corner. And let's be honest, not done very well with these recently. Still the same situation. Well in. Knocks it down. Gets it back to him. That's not bad to Gavi for his first Barcelona goal. And that is a brilliant moment for the... I don't know why he's grabbing the ball. When I need to grab the ball, I can't. When I want him to celebrate, I can't. But Gavi makes it 1-0 Barcelona. His first goal for the club did end up coming from the corner. Great play from us to just nudge it into him. <sighs> really good finish. Pablo Gavi's first start under Yorkie, man. Leads to a first goal. And we've got some good young central midfielders here. I'm hoping to see them shine brightly we created something from a corner let's see if valencia can do the same i thought we'd clear it a little bit better than that but gavi is going to have a bit of space just to nudge the ball into he's actually going to fizz that up to ferreira it was a nice idea the belly just wasn't there was he but we do have the lead here going in at half time not good enough though i think we need one or two more let's get a cushion oh this is a good play was with the shot and it's just over the bar here starting the second half brightly valencia Crazy haircut, but I got under it a bit too much, didn't he? I think Testegen had it covered. They're not as well versed as kicking the ball, are they, in the rain as, as this Barcelona side? Told you, we've been working on it. Day in, day out, working on how to be good at playing in the rain. Nah, this could be dangerous. Carlos Soler back across to Gomez. Gomez behind to Guedes. Lenle does enough again, honestly. He's piqued my interest in this one today. He's been fantastic. Now, we might have a break on here. Because Ansu Fati is no slouch when it comes to running. Ansu Fati knocks it across to Usman Dembele. Oh, he's going to land to Ferreira. And what a save. 
That is basically, listen, even though Ferreira was offside, I mean, this is an unbelievable save from the keeper. I thought it came off the Valencia player, personally, but apparently not. All right, they're doing a really good job. Gavi, he's going to lay that one forward. Too much on it, didn't he? Should have just been a normal pass, probably. Well in, Pedri winning that back. He's had a great season so far, hasn't he, Pedri? He just suits this team so well. And so Fatty now does find Ferreira, who will finish it. And the linesman flag did not go up. And that will be his second goal in Barcelona colours. Jesus Ferreira may be the future of our front line. And he's doing a bloody good job at the moment. Great football again, though. Pedri wins it back. Plays it into the other youngster, Ansu Fati, who just dinks that one over to Ferreira. This is fantastic stuff. Barcelona football at its finest. And what a finish it is. Well, we'll make a double sub here. Lainez is going to come back after his injury. Gavi's going to come off as well. Nico Gonzalez coming on. Another one of the young centre mids. Uh, really good performance, though, today from, uh, from Gavi. Really good performance. And hopefully, Nico can be... Maybe his partner in the centre of midfield at some stage. Jose Guy is a very good fullback. Again, I'm, it's not changing to the player I want it to change to. We got there in the end, and Sergio Dest does a brilliant job. Ansu Fati now. He's going to link up with Ferreira, maybe. Ansu Fati might be in here. Diakabe is certainly not going to outmuscle him. Ansu Fati just to finish off the game, and he does sweetly put into the top corner. And our number 10, the future. Of this forward line as well. Ansu Fati linking up with Ferreira. And that'll be 3-0 Barcelona. Finally, a convincing performance as well. Let's be honest, we needed it. Good play from Valencia in patches. But let's be honest, it's been a little bit lacklustre. If you're a Valencia fan, you're thinking, where are the good results going to come this season? Ansu Fati now. Great footwork from him. Lost that one over to Jesus Ferreira. And that might be a link up we see a lot in this team. And Jesus Ferreira's got to finish it. Could be 4-0. I'll be fuming that he hasn't finished this. He went for curling to the bottom corner and Sillison just read it. First one of the episode and we needed it. And it was a convincing one as well. We haven't played great football in every match. This one, we did play some unbelievable football and a fantastic result. And it's just always good to see these young players shining. Ansu Fati, Jesus Ferreira, uh, Gavi as well. Like It's great to see. Playing the Barcelona way as well, you know. 61% possession in that last game, so... We just want to keep that up. Now, we've got Dynamo Kiev coming up next. And then the El Clasico. So, I think we'll play the Kiev game to try and get our first win in the Champions League. And we will play Real Madrid to kick off the next episode. One eye on Real Madrid. I'm not going to lie. One eye on Real Madrid. That's why you see a bit of rotation today. Gavi keeps his place in the team. Lionez comes back in. We use if the mirror on the left wing. Sergio Aguero there up top. Balde keeps his place again. I'm really excited and happy about this left back. I think he'll grow really well. And, and I'm joining you. To get Lenley next to Araujo today, and the big news: Anaki Pena will start in goal for this one against Dynamo Kiev. It's going to be a difficult night in the Ukraine, but of course, we need some of those players back for the Real Madrid game, which is going to be all important in helping us push up the league. A lot of trust, really, putting into the boys here because this isn't going to be an easy place for them to go, and for a lot of them, this will be a very much new experience because this will be a loud crowd. It will be a hostile crowd. And hopefully, they're good enough to, you know, stand accounted for here. Gavi, I'm looking for another good performance. He played so well in that last match. I know Kiev play quite wide open. So, I will be looking to exploit them. And that is great play already. And Yusuf Demir is going to play that one into Conaguero. Conaguero now hasn't been great in that position, but this time he is. And just like that, Barcelona go 1-0 up. And that will really help settle the nerves here in this one. I would have thought. Fantastic finish from Sergio Aguero. This is the game that we should be picking up the points from, though. Good ball in from Yusuf Demir. We've already seen a lot of good stuff from Demir. I think he's certainly someone who we're looking at now to sign in the uh, in the coming season. Uh, we've got a deal in place, I think. I don't know. We can approach to make the bid. We might even do that after this game, if I remember. But it's a deal I want to get done. He's a really good young star, so it'd be horrible to miss out on him. Then he's going to... End up recouping that, but they end up with it back. And Lenley's actually proving to be a bit of a leader at the back at the moment. And I, I'm enjoying seeing it. That was a bit reckless. Although we might be able to just pop out a little bit here and break away. Well, the line is. Oh, the ball from Pedri. Needed to be inch perfect and it wasn't. Oh, that's a good ball across though. That's a great ball across. And just like that, Dynamo Kia make it 1-1. Again, we've been played in. By a through ball, every time seems to be the case. 
Kiev. Well over minutes in here and it's 1-1 and they're back in the game. I feel like sometimes we make it too easy and Araujo just doesn't have the pace. I think we were trying to play him off and we didn't. Another draw in this competition for me would not be good enough. This has to be a win today. Sergio Aguero now. Went the line has run, didn't he, really? Footwork that is from Sergio Aguero and he's still got it. What footwork that is from Sergio Aguero. You won't see that often from him. But that was lovely play. There was no one in the box to play into, but that play there from Sergio Aguero was fantastic. Where are now? So I'm Gavi. Gavi plays that into Yusuf Demir, and then Demir is probably wondering, who am I supposed to play this to, though? Oh, he's got it back across to Gavi, who's managed to find Aguero, but couldn't get it out of his feet. Uh, and again, just a few better runs. Oh, that was great from Kamara rushing him. And the ball then forward from Gavi to Aguero was sloppy. But there's going to be moments in this game where we can capitalise on those situations. But we need to make sure we're taking him. Araujo, for the first time, getting in front of his man. Oh, now he's found a springboard forward. Yusuf Demir wants more help, doesn't he? Demir then back in behind. Demir will just ping that one on to Conaguero, surely. Oh, what a save. What a save from the goalkeeper. Really was. Tough game here for us. Really tough game. We'll one at half time and I, I think we should be doing better. Some good opportunities. That opportunity there for Sergio Aguero needs to hit the back of the net, I think. That's a great ball over the top here. Burbich now. We know he's a good player. And imagine if they scored in this situation. I would really put the cat amongst the pigeons because I think we've been the better team by a mile. But they might score here and they will. What a goal that is for Dynamo Kiev. And they've really stuck it to us in this game. And I can't believe it. The boys again sloppy. It's not good enough. We've had to rotate. Didn't have much of a choice, but they were just dominating possession there. And someone's just got to throw their body in front of it. If you think about the moments in this game so far, you think about the possession. Think about who's controlled it. And it's been all us. But we still find ourselves here now in this position. Well, Sergio Roberto has just made a huge mistake. And this should be the game done and dusted. Well saved by Anaki Pena, but it's not over yet. It is now. They've given the ball away, but Sergio Roberto was showing why we don't play him and why he's on the transfer list, to be honest with you. Go on then, Gavi. Show me what you've got. Clean pair of legs, maybe. Can he take it? He does. Gavi now just to get us straight back into the game, and it's saved. He hits it straight at the goalkeeper. What a massive moment for the youngster there. Not been taken. And Aguero now will force them onto him. Oh, go on then, Linez. How good are you, son? How good are you? Whips it across. Linez, there we go. Back in it. Back in the game. Great play from the boys. Diego Linez will get his first goal for Barcelona. Big moment for him, but Sergio Roberto needs to come off. Uh, it just what a terrible performance for him here. Gavi will come off. Don't want to be too harsh on him, but he should have scored there earlier. But, I, I mean, Sergio Roberto, what were he doing? Yeah, go now. I'll drive forward. He's going to have options. Oh, he nearly took one. Nearly got brought down as well. That was nearly a penalty, if I'm being honest with you. If he'd have been fouled there, it would have been. I'm, I'm kind of part of me saying you should have taken that foul. And this is where we're a little bit susceptible now to Gankov. And for the first time, Araujo's dealt with that fantastically. It's that forward. It's a great ball to Yusuf Demir. Yusuf Demir. Boy, Lainez coming in. He's going to get his second and he's going to surely give us the winner. Great ball from Yusuf Demir. Great vision from Yusuf Demir. And after injury and a little bit of a slow start in a Barcelona shirt, Diego Lainez is going to have the game of his career. And he's going to make it 3-2 Barcelona and potentially help us win our first three points here in this competition. What a ball that is from Yusuf Demir, though. Oh, here they come. Verbic. Ball out. Oh, good ball in as well. And what a save that is from Peña. Absolutely just saving our bacon there. This is a fantastic save, sticking his leg out. It was a tough angle. You'd expect him to save it, but the acrobatics, well, the flexibility more than anything of him being able to get his leg out there. Fantastic. Going to Raujo. Oh, Popov just over the bar. It was hard fought, but a great lesson for some of the younger players here in the Champions League. A really great lesson, but very hard fought that was. Linus, though, the star of the show, of course, with the two goals that give us the victory. And Anaki Pena with that really great save late on. Really good performance, that. Really happy with the last two games. Now, so we take on Real Madrid next time out to kick off the episode. 
A few more games there. The second game against Kiev. There'll probably be one or two sims against some of the smaller teams. But I think this new format means we will sim less and we'll play more games. There'll just be longer episodes. Slowing down Real Madrid and Atletico is the big key here. We've handed Atletico a draw, which wasn't the end of the world. But if we could get a win in our first El Clasico, that would be massive. I can't complain. I think the youngsters at this stage are doing a superb job in the team. But that's going to be it for me in this one, guys. Thank you very much for your support on the series and the continued support on the channel. There's a lot more coming your way. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next one.